In July we celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary and we did this by flying to Cairns which is in northern Queensland on the Great Barrier Reef. Here you can see the plane as it's coming in, you'll see the islands to the right, there are islands all along the northern coast. And this was our first stop in Cairns where we had lunch. Before driving up to Port Douglas, which is where we stayed, this is a view from the accommodation we stayed at, which was set in the hills, was run by a German and an English guy. As you can see, it's quite cloudy, a lot of the footage, because it is, I guess, a rainforest area, so they do receive a high volume of rain. Uh, this time of year is nice though because it's about 25 degrees and the temperature is not too hot. So as you can see this is our accommodation, a barley theme. Uh, cans, you actually can't go swimming in the sea because there are crocodiles everywhere, uh, even in the lakes and the rivers. And you can see the warning signs in German and Japanese because we actually have had some German people who've been eaten because they have been swimming there, so beware. This is a view when we were on our way to Daintree Rainforest area. And this here is a green snake that is commonly found in the rainforest, but this one was actually in a cage. So we went walking through the rainforest, uh, which is a really beautifully green area. Lots of ferns in the trees. I actually have bird's nest ferns in our garden at home, but they grow on the ground at home, and these were actually growing high up in the trees. This view was taken from, we climbed up a tower and it's a view of the treetops. You can see here the bird's nest ferns up in the tree and this is the forest floor. This is Cape Tribulation which is a famous beach. Um, it looked uh, beautiful to go swimming but unfortunately you can't because of the crocodiles up here but there are many other things to do. On the sand uh, was evidence of bubble crabs. These are mangroves, which are a really important part of the ecosystem. This here is a bush turkey. We have a lot of these in Sydney as well, but it's just interesting for you to see these funny little birds. They're not shy. This next bird is a baby cassowary, and these are endangered. They're only found in North Queensland. This is Cape Tribulation again, taken from the lookout. Uh, coming up is an adult cassowary that we saw when we were driving home. They're endangered, but they're also dangerous and they can attack, so I stayed in the car, which is why the footage is shaky. Here's my husband eating some rainforest ice cream. It was absolutely delicious. And they have banana plantations, of course, here as well. This is the Daintree River. They've got lots of crocodiles here. You can actually go on crocodile watching tours. We didn't, and we didn't see any from the banks. We saw no crocodiles at all during our time there. I've taken some video here of sugarcane. It's grown all along North Queensland and unfortunately is devastating for the barrier reef because they fertilise it during the wet season and all the fertiliser runs off into the sea, causing a lot of trouble for the reef. The highlight of our trip to Cairns was going to the barrier reef. We went out to the barrier reef to three reefs. Two marine biologists accompanied us which was really good because they were able to tell us a lot about the history of the reef. It's 10,000 years old. Um, just the way everything works together, how complex it is, I was amazed at, and wondered at God's creation. It was just fantastic. It's safe to swim out there because there are no uh, crocodiles and the sharks are small. They actually only eat the fish. Um, in fact, the shark was scared of us. It swam off. 
If you're really interested in learning more about the reef, David Attenborough has recently produced a three-part series for TV uh, where he talks about the Great Barrier Reef and he actually goes down to the bottom of the reef. Um, it's a really interesting series if you want to know more about it. I definitely recommend you visit the reef if you come to Australia. It's not something you want to miss. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the latest of my videos.